it's Maya. I am currently sitting in my streaming setup that I go live with every three times a week on Twitch. Um, I said on Twitter that I would do a tour of my Animal Crossing island because it is a five-star island. This is my first Animal Crossing game since playing Wild World where I reached five stars. I'm pretty excited about it. So I'm going to give you a tour um, and show you what the dealio is. Who says that? Apparently me, I guess. Um, but I hope you enjoy it, and maybe this will give you some ideas of what to do with your island. So, this is... <laughs> here we go. It's 7.07pm on Friday, May 22nd, 2020. I skipped a day, I'm sorry. Sorry, the in-game volume of the voices is a little off. My Elgato really likes to have a different issue every single time that I use it when I want to play stuff on the Switch. So... We're going for it. It's okay. I think game volume's a little loud, turning it down, because I'm not entirely sure. But we got some mail. Let me check. Oh, I ordered some things. Sorry, this was not supposed to be a part of the video. I just, let me just grab them really fast. Okay, so. First off, part of my island is my house. I have not really actually focused much. I won't be doing a house tour because I actually don't have any furniture on the inside right now. Um, I currently have to redo it. The outside of my house is very cute though. I like it a lot. Oh god, it looks so ugly. And for what reason? Let me go in here for a second really fast. Anyways, I'm getting really sidetracked. I'm not going to be editing this video, so it's just going to be like 30 minutes of me. See, like, look, I kid you not, I have nothing. Who am I? Who am I? Oh gosh. Okay, let me grab... I needed to grab my shooting star. Oh gosh, my wand. And I lost it. Give me a moment. I don't know where it would be. Um, oh, here. Let's do this. No, no. There it is. It's because it looks like a flower. La 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 la. La 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 la. Goth Chun Li! Let's give you the tour! Okay, here we go. So, officially starting now, two minutes and 30 seconds into the video about my tour. So, I showed you the outside of my house. I have a pool. I did these custom pathways with the dirt and I drew up some little clover patches. That's my first Jacob's Ladder that I got. Very excited about it. If you walk down this way, we have Stitch's house. He is one of my villagers to the left. He has black flowers. I gave him a little kind of area that he can walk out onto. Not all of my trees are done growing after I finished doing all of my foliage and all of the different flowers and trees that I wanted to plant. This is Marina's house. Um, and behind here, we have a tiny little bamboo garden that is, I guess, just for her little backyard. I wanted to add a little, I guess Zen Garden is something that's a popular build idea inside of Animal Crossing for people, so I added my own kind of spin on it. This is Chief's house. Chief just recently moved in. I don't know too much about him. To be honest, his house isn't my favorite inside because it, it doesn't look that, that nice, but it's okay. This is Olive's house. Um, Olive just moved in. I've never had her in my village before. But I, Renee was living here before until Renee finally moved out, thank god, and all have moved in. I have three bear villagers in total. Now, this is one of the first park sections that I have in my whole entire island. I decided it would be nice to put a little board game here. Uh, <laughs> someone just followed me. I wasn't supposed to have the alert box on. Okay, now it's gone. Um, but I do have this little kind of backyard area I would say so people can come in there we're gonna go over to the left first I have a weed and my rocks I've been trying to make them specifically spawn in certain places uh, the beach areas are not yet decorated I focused more on the green areas chief is singing okay anyways down this way this is one of the first of many walkways the waterfalls are so freaking loud um, we have a little barbecue area. Uh, I have a lot of waterfowls on my island because I think they look nice. This is my little carnival area. Um, it's not that nice, honestly. This is one of my least favorite parts of my island. I kind of want to fine tune what is here. Um, but this is the shopping area. 
and hopefully a little camping area here. Hopefully they're gonna add in other things like Brewster, so that way I can add more buildings here, but this is where the Able Sisters are, and this is where Nook's Cranny is, and I thought it was nice to have them next to each other, but also elevated a little bit. This is a, a fishing landing for here. I think it looks nice. We have another bridge over here that gives us access to the beach from here. Um, yeah, I have a little sand drawing over here, I think. Yep, that's a sand drawing. Now, here is the plaza slash fountain area. We have a little tiny telescope so we can stargaze when Celeste comes here. And this little fountain, which goes over here. And this is the entrance to my whole entire island. So when you hop off of a plane from LAX, you, <laughs> you go up the pathway. That wasn't funny. You go up the pathway and... Oh, hi, Marina. Okay, yeah, we'll talk to you. Yeah, okay, I'll buy it. Epic. That's fine. I'll buy it for that. Anything to support my octopus daughter. I don't know what it looks like, but I'll take it anyways. That's fine. Okay. So, now... I am very glad to end up with it. Leaf is here visiting today. I wanted the plaza to still feel like it was like the feeling of when you first land in New Horizons where you are on a deserted island. So I wanted it to still feel like it was in the wilderness. So I surrounded it by trees and hedges. And then if you go left, this is where we go back to the area. This is one of the Zen bridges that I finished building. But to the right, Okay, there's Sid. Sid still hasn't moved out. That's fine. He's just vibing. This is a pathway to the beach down this way, which I don't have anything here right now. I just have a survivor chair. Every time I see tiki torches, it reminds me of survivor. This is where my museum is, and I really like the idea of having like a waterfall that comes down from the middle, and I know people have been having issues where they don't anticipate that this doorway is three wide. And the only thing that fits three, if this makes any sense to people, fits three blocks is a bridge. So I decided to do two inclines on the side. Um, we have an amber thing here. And this is my sunken fishing pole. So it is really loud. I just think it looks pretty. It's really loud though. Um, more pathways. I like the circular pathway because I think it looks nicer than curving a pathway um, when it's a line. This is the farmer's market. Oh, we have a black a black lily. Yay. We'll go put that in Stitch's yard. Um, but we have a smoothie stand, a fortune cookie stand, a tea stand, and an arts and crafts stand. And it's also a flower stand. I don't know. I just put cute things there. This is the playground for none of my villagers. Probably Stitch's because he's the most baby out of all of them. Um, I still haven't decorated the beach really, but that's okay. We have our phone booth here. This is one of my favorite items in the game because I think it looks really cool. Oh, somebody lost something. I'll find that later. This is our vending machine our, our, our for our sodas and, and stuff. I was gonna get the snack one, but I think it looks nicer and more clean this way. And then you walk up this way. We have our lime scooters because we have semblance of, of civilization. Out this way, we go out to the tiny little cutout area here that they have on everybody's island. I put a telescope or a looking... A looking device. What is this? What are they? Binoculars, but large? I can't remember what it's called. Anyways, it's this is where you have a picnic. And Norma's fishing in the world's tiniest area. I'm not sure why. This is the music performance area. You get so much musical gear in this game, and I didn't really want to put it in a room, so I put it outside. I still haven't gotten KK Metal, and it's very upsetting to me. I haven't finished this area. I have a windmill. Um, it's not very exciting. It's okay. Oh, I have an area I didn't clean up, but it's okay. Uh, this is the pond. I didn't give myself enough still water on multiple tiers for me to fill out the museum, I think, so I have to figure that out, but... I can at least fish there. This is, oh, this is Sid's house, if you were curious. This is Twiggy's house. She's working out outside. I gave her a hot pink flamingo because that feels like it would be her vibe. Up here we have 
Pate's house. Um, Pate has a little pond because she's a duck. And then I gave her this little outside area so people can come here and eat food. I'm 20. What? I'm, I'm not 20. I'm almost 20. That's fine. This is Zell's house. Zell's classy. I chose the flower colors based off of the accent colors in their houses and his felt like yellow could be really nice with the brown inside of the pansies. I have a uh, t-shirt spawned here so that way my rock garden will spawn but so far I've only successfully gotten one rock to come here. I have to do it on the rest of my island if I want the rocks not to spawn there. I'll get there. It's fine. Up here we have Maple's house. Um, it's just nice and cozy and cottage quarry and this is Norma's house uh, and yeah so those are the all of my villagers houses I have a couple more sections to show you so oh they're having conversation this is my condensed orchard that has all the fruit kinds here it used to be much larger but then I realized that there really wasn't any purpose in having a large one I just wanted three trees of each um, down this way we go to the campsite so I have a wooden bridge here that connects it over here and when villagers come to visit, they have their own little kind of secluded area, which I thought was really nice because it still feels like the abandoned island that you come to on the first day. This is the parks area. We have a sitting ground down here, another little fishing area, um, and you walk up this way and you can see that I have another little fishing area up here. You can peek out onto the pathway over here, which is where Red's boat docks when he visits. We have a well, and you do a little hop, and another little hop, hop, and more picnic space for people. So that's nice. I had to go back all the way. I never come up here because it takes so long to go back down. Um, but yeah, this is most of it, and... The last part I didn't show you is, I guess, the rounded off pathways on these sides. So this is separates each quadrant, or I guess each third, rather, of my village. So if you look on the map section, my top half is divided by threes. So on the left side, where it's blinking right now from my house, um, I have four villagers in my own house. This was a my villager I made so that way I could use the duplication hack. Haha, <laughs> anyways, we're not going to talk about that. Um, yes, and then on this side where Norma's house is, that's where the other villager section is, and then the middle is the park section. Um, so yeah, Red's boat docks here. I wanted to make sure that there was no way that I needed to climb down places in order to get to it. I have a pathway that connects on the back side with destination posts to this area, which goes back to this neighborhood area. So yeah. That is my whole village tour. Um, I hope that it you liked it and thought it was nice. I I very much enjoy my town. I spent too much time working on it. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited because this is my first time ever getting five stars on an island. I really am happy with the way that it looks. I wanted it to look overgrown and kind of look a little... Uh, I guess the best way to describe it would be like see the secret life of Arietti, Miyazaki, Kiki's delivery service, overgrown Totoro house kind of type thing. So that was my my way of doing it. Um, I hope this video was entertaining for anybody who plays Animal Crossing or really enjoys the series and just wants to be able to look at more people's island decorations and their choices of how they make their own places and towns unique uh but yeah that's mine um i hope you like this video okay bye you if you want to watch me play it sometimes i play on twitch uh on tuesdays fridays and sundays my stream schedule is available on twitch.tv slash mxm tune um i play a variety of games and sometimes i even read books to people so all right bye everybody <laughs> take care